Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to some more Call of Cthulhu. We are going to be in the middle of an investigation yet again. I intend to Jaguar. Hope you got fucking tired. <sighs> That's been my day, so sorry for taking down on you guys. If you find yourself enjoying the video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, guys. I recommend it because there'll be some craziness going on in this game, as well as many others that I am playing currently at the same time. So. Without further ado, we're gonna jump into this motherfucker. And now we in the motherfucker. See, look, look, I, I, I did not steer you wrong, did I? Did I? Okay, we gotta do this though. We gotta blind ourselves for a second. Ah, goddamn. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Friends, even? Lovers. Deep, deep lovers. A house of artists. A house of artists. Sorry, what house was it? A house of artists. Ah, oh, right, okay. <laughs> Nothing behind that screen. Nothing in that room. Ooh, book. Sanders accession register. Road beside the Shambler. Finally. What did Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell the painting? I don't know if it was fear, man. Or if it was just like stupidity. Okay, where the shit fuck? Oh. You finally won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? <sighs> first refused to sell the painting. How did that make her feel? Oh, that I don't really care about. <laughs> Was she jealous of Sarah Hawkins? Ah! Okay. <laughs> Occultism. Ah! <laughs> To see it. I don't think you do, though. I don't think you. Let's see what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Irene, I made a mistake. I fear that it might be too late for me. Nobody should enter, except to burn everything. I never had the courage. Pay somebody to do it. It's inside my head. I see him behind my eyelids. Each time I shut my eyes. Well then. I can't take any more. Oh. Yeah, I'm done with your shit, bud. Damn you, Sarah. We're gonna find you, and we're gonna kick you in the vagina. We're not gonna do that. We may never find her, too, so... Oh, man. You know what this, this game has been so far? It's been like, let's, oh, this cat. I'm gonna close the door because I'm gonna whoop your ass. I'm just playing. I could use one of those. Yay. Sleepy time pills. A strange Amerindian pendant. A Amerindian? <laughs> it's not strange. native. For months, Sarah Hawkins refused to part with her painting, to finally give it away for nothing. It's because she realized it was cursed. An old diary. Edward Pierce diary, okay. Volume 3. Strength. <laughs> I am one. 
I am one with the break everything. Cool, another medical journal. There's a lot of shit in this one room. Kit Kat, what do you want? Oh, no. Let's get this first. Would you read the book? <laughs> this will affect the outcome. Shit. <laughs> Why wouldn't I read the book? That's twice you've stepped on my toes, detective. Try not to make a habit of it. I've got a lot of bad habits. Some can be more fatal than others. What have you come looking for in this gallery? Uh... Another painting by Sarah Hawkins. One connected to the horrors I've discovered on this island. What a surprise. I'm listening. Uh... Okay. All's fair in love and war, I suppose. Bebe. These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. Pre-Columbian? Let's look around. That's the painting up there, I bet. Just want to look to see if there's anything, any books. Can also look around in here. There are all these weird daggers? Yeah. I was just saying, hmm. <laughs> Why was he so interested in old weapons? He was a weirdo. <clears throat> Alright, let's go look The man this transforms the entire wing of his manor into an art gallery. It's that on the ground behind it. Is this dagger part of Sanders' collection, or was he seeking to acquire it? You know... I'm pretty sure I saw it over here. That's not it. Yeah, <laughs> that's it right there. Why was he so interested in old weapons? Okay. Let's go look at the painting. I'm, I'm not sure what uh, what's about to happen, so we're gonna find out here. We're gonna go mad and then start breaking the place apart. <laughs> That's not good. That is not cool. Oh no, I have to move around in this part? God damn it. What the hell was that? over there, but I feel like if I open one of these, it's gonna... Oh, fuck. Down. Yep. Yep. Did it hear that? Oh. Went the wrong way. Went the wrong way! Hide. 
I have no idea where this thing is. Like, is it even in this room? I don't think it is. Go, go, go. This dagger. Looks <laughs> oh, there he is. Come on. Three, two, one, go. He went back in the other room. Oh, sweet, we got this. To... You know, I actually thought I was supposed to kill him with it, but I guess... That makes sense, right? Thing was you terrifying. Your you're losing it, Detective. At this rate, you're right. The bottle will get you before I do. You didn't see anything. I saw you within an inch of putting a dagger through your forearm. Did I miss something more interesting? Yeah. Sanders was right. This painting is cursed. What are you talking about? I was attacked by a creature. Pushed it back, I think. I... I think so, too. What? <laughs> I ran, screamed, broke a pane of glass. You were in the next room, and you didn't hear a thing. If I hadn't heard a thing, I'd still be in the other room. The door was blocked. I got in as soon as I could. I like to look after my goods. You mean me. Don't flatter yourself, sweetheart. I'm talking about the contents of this gallery. And by the way, where do you think you're going with that dagger? It saved my life. It's an extraordinary dagger. You should talk to Algernon Drake. He's an antique dealer here on Darkwater. He'll tell you all about it. From what I saw in the ledgers, it was him who sold it to Sanders. The no, creature, <clears throat> this dagger, was the only weapon capable of pushing it back. This antique dealer has a good knowledge of the occult. I have nothing to lose by meeting him. You've got your spunk back. Go where you want. I'm staying here to talk business with Irene. Did I not just break into that? I thought I broke into that stole's key. <laughs> but I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm not wrong, because then that means that key was useful for something else that I have yet to discover. So that fucking creature was crazy. I'm pretty sure Um, I got super lucky in finding finding out everything before. If I if I had touched that painting prior to finding that clue for the dagger, there's no way. Well now. The window was already like that, I promise you. Well, 
Where is the bookseller? Medicine. It's what I like. It's An old diary. Actually, no, that doesn't really make sense. Why he goes through the medicine all the time. He's a fucking detective. He's not a doctor. He doesn't know shit about shit. He doesn't know shit about fuck. <laughs> Just gonna make sure there's nothing going on. Dark water history. Oh, good do okay. What's this? Oh, oil. What happened here? Something horrible. <laughs> Let's start over. Where did they break in from? Blood. Seems like amateur work. That's what they want you to believe. There's nothing back there. Damn, that's dark. Oh, God. This burglar seems to be rather clumsy. Like a fool. What sort of thief leaves his tools at the crime scene? What killed all these animals? What happened that made the burglar flee before finishing his work? Hello. What the? Charles Hawkins? What sort of power did Sarah Hawkins' painting possess? Sarah Hawkins helped hide something in this safe. Drake put in a great deal of effort to hide whatever is in here. Everything is linked to the Sarah Hawkins case. Okay. Oh, Red nice. left instructions on how to find the combination of his safe. Somebody finds these mirrors. Each cylinder is numbered. Okay, we have to find cylinders. Out of three cylinders, each hidden where life and study combine in the Greek world. Even if, as the celebrated author says, order is the pleasure of reason, but disorder is the delight of the imagination. Indeed, despite my preference for origin, uh, organized <laughs> chaos, I must admit that reason usually prevails in the end. Are you going to give me any hints here? Found the perk. Is everyone on this island taking sleeping pills? Yeah, I'm just getting fucked. What link did he find between Charles Hawkins and Shit. an old amulet? Should have read that, but oh well. <clears throat> Whoa. Arkham editions. Never heard of them. Okay, there's lots of books there. Hold on. Zero to nine. Okay. Zero to nine. How many volumes are there in this collection? This one is volume one. Okay. Another volume, volume by Arkham two. Editions. Arkham Editions. Volume eight. How many volumes are there in this collection? Another volume by Arkham volume Editions. Volume four. Arkham Editions. Volume Never nine. Heard of them. How many volumes are there? Volume in this seven. Okay. Done in that shit. He got the lights on now. That's good. Cylinders that Drake tried to hide. Oh, nice. I should perhaps listen to them. Found them cylinders. Wood.
would you read the book? Of what course. does this strange book contain? This book contains unholy knowledge. Unholy knowledge? The devil's work. The Book of Zion is the foundational work behind Helena Blavatsky's theosophical movement. Its followers place truth on the same footing as a religion. Hmm. Man, we got so much medicine. Another volume by Arkham Editions. Okay. Got another one over here. Dark Water History. Volume 2. I think we're good for that. What's this? Things are not looking good. No, they are not. Oop. A kind of chalice. Okay. What a fancy cup. All right, let's listen to these. Red rocks, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. That was a clue. 100%. Red rocks, like precious stones, lie fixed, stones, red drops, in divine gold. And gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me. Oh God, me that's so easy. Henry. And I... The Chalice of Knowledge. One, two, three, four, five. There are five you rubies. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. Let's go to number two. I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Oh god, chess. Let those of us <laughs> who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark soldiers. Oh, that's easy too. I see our number dwindling. And my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. Okay, so we got a queen. Um, these people don't know how to play chess because there's no king on the board. <laughs> we got a queen and we got three other pieces on the board. So it's got to be three, right? Not including the queen. Maybe three or four. So five. I'm going to say it's three. Dear friend. I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham editions that you sent me. Uh, volume 9, Azathoth and Other Horrors, seems particularly relevant to my research. I never tire of browsing through them. That's so the last one's 9. Alright, let's try it out. Okay, you... Oops. There we go. Uh, five. I want to say four for this one, just to try it, and then nine. Nope. Three. Three! Dude, that was easy. That was the most complicated puzzle in the, in the game so far, but that was really easy. And you can't go wrong with what things go easy. We well, probably can, but. <laughs> it's the Eye of Sauron. I fucking knew it. <laughs> this isn't good. I'm gonna wake up in a fucking insane asylum again. Oh my god, I did! It's the Riverside Institute again! Oh, kill me. <laughs> I can't believe that. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, good God. 
All right, come on, pick it up. Man, the loading screens on these are actually ridiculous. <clears throat> like, at least lie to me and show me that you're progressing. You know what I mean? Like, even if you go slow and then stop at the end for like a minute, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm not okay with that, but you know, I'm, I'm a, I don't know what I am. I'm just pissed off that we have to wait. <laughs> That's literally it. See, it hasn't even fucking moved yet. Move. Move, you piece of shit. Move before I gut your family. Speaking to this thing like it has a family, okay? Now you know you're losing it. I wonder what we're doing in the insane asylum again, though. Probably taking meds. Popping pills. Pretending like we're in Ibiza. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You guys know. <laughs> Enter madness. Dr. Colden, this man's condition is deteriorating. What says Dr. Fuller? It's his patient, after all. Oh. He... He's busy with Captain Fitzroy. He specifically asked us not to bother him when that's the case. Oh, of course. I'll see what I can do. Mr. Blake, can you hear me? I'm Dr. Colden. We'll take care of you. There's nothing we can do. I tried talking to him. He's catatonic. I don't quite understand the icons, like the question, the quotation points. Uh, what are those supposed to be like mad things, or are they supposed to continue the story? And these are only supposed to do. See, that's what I'm confused about in this game. Very well, I'll examine him. I don't wanna. <laughs> Thirty-year-old subject, severe hypothermia. Erythematous papules around the eyes and eardrums. Necrosed palupral tissue. Lord, this smell. God, I hate people who say tissue. <laughs> His skin shows abnormal loss of color and seems dried out. He's totally dehydrated. His fingertips and toes seem to feature a slight ring under the skin. Tender at the touch. Slightly sticky. Stop touching him, he's sticky. <laughs> Severe malnutrition. Swollen abdomen with traces of petechia. <sighs> Doesn't seem like an edema. Slight protuberances seem to indicate the presence of a foreign body. So, Doctor, an opinion? I'm not sure I have the necessary knowledge to treat this man. Don't say that. You're our most worthy doctor after Dr. Fuller. Some of his symptoms are beyond my comprehension. What did you find? Did you examine his abdomen? It would seem there's something inside. He hasn't eaten in days. Are you certain it's not an edema? No. Can't you recognize an edema? Pushing with your finger won't leave a trace. And look at these bumps. <laughs> it's not like he could be pregnant. Whatever it is, this man has something inside him that shouldn't be there. We should operate on him at once. Dr. Fuller said not to worry, that the edema would go away by itself. You know, I'm not sure Dr. Fuller is telling the truth. In spite of the muscle contractions, his arms seem limp. Yes. They can't have decalcified, not at this rate. And yet, if there is a bone in this arm, it's softer than that of a newborn baby. What about his cranium? It's soft at the touch. It does seem like the skull of a baby. Look at these sticky rings growing at his fingertips. What can be happening? I'm sure you'll find an explanation. You have to. He's growing tentacles. I see signs of hypodermoclysis, <laughs> but he's still dehydrated. When was his last IV? He's constantly under perfusion. 
I've even gone beyond the recommended dose to no avail. Mm. And you won't believe me, but when we bathed him earlier, he seemed to feel better. He pooped in the yes. water. Like he needs an aquarium, not a perfusion. But that doesn't explain his condition. I almost don't believe it myself, but these symptoms are not those usually associated with the human species. What do you mean? Don't tell me you believe in extraterrestrials. No. This poor man is from our world, all right. But his body is undergoing unnatural mutations. And this transformation is killing him. His body simply can't cope. Where could he have gotten such an infection? I pray that it's not here. Dr. Cowidman, may I know what you're doing to my patient? What I'm doing? How about what you've done to him? Let us calm down, my dear Marie. I don't appreciate your tone, nor your insinuations. I've done to him what I do to all my patients, provide him with the best available care. Your imagination is without limit. It's your homemade drug again, is it not? Those people are not your guinea pigs. There, there. What have you seen to put you in such a state? I've seen suction cups on his fingers. His falling body temperature. His dehydration. Had I only read the report, you know what I would have concluded, Doctor. Do I? Tell me anyway. I'm curious. He's no longer human. These are the attributes of... an animal. Fascinating. An animal, you say? Could you be more precise? Cephalopod, perhaps. This amuses you. Your reaction does. I know your thirst for knowledge, Doctor. It's your innocent worries for this man that have you overreacting. For this man and the others whose medical files you've been hiding. I have to protect my discovery. These people owe me their life, but the world isn't ready yet. It will be, in time. I will not let you do this. You disappoint me, Marie, but I still have hope you'll one day share my point of view. In the meantime, take care of your own patience and try not to forget who you're dealing with. Okay. Was that a threat? What did he mean? It was a warning. Dr. Fuller is this institution's founder and one of our profession's most influential voices. My word is of no weight against his. If I continue to protest, I will only ruin my reputation and career. It's scandalous. Can't we do anything? Is there no evidence of his crimes? I disapprove of Fuller's methods, but his treatments have saved more lives than I can count. And Mr. Blake? You said yourself he was dying. I don't know what to think for now. What I'm sure of is that Fuller is hiding something from us. And I need to know what that is before I take a chance exposing him. And where would you find those? In his office? What if you get caught? I'd rather not think about that. I'm counting on your discretion. Of course, Doctor. You can count on me. I'll keep Mum. Mum's the word. All right, guys, I'm going to call for this episode. It ran uh, at least 10 minutes longer than I was expecting it to. I did not expect this cutscene was going to be insane. An unknown medicine. Judging by the other ones, it causes heavy side effects. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. I recommend it. It's an awesome fucking game. Awesome fucking channel. Awesome fucking day. So, love you all. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.